Arkham Asylum. You know, this should be someone's house until they changed it into an asylum. For the criminally insane. I should explain why you're here. I'm still struggling with why I'm here. Well, I mean, criminal, yes. Insane? I suppose the only one of those people will be able to sleep at night is thinking of my intellect as insanity. How long are you going to keep this up, Mr. Grayson? I'm clearly not going to tell you who or what killed Bruce Wayne. He can stop them, and you don't have a chance. Stop what? Give me a name! This isn't a game anymore. The rules have changed. You should just hope that they don't see you as a threat. This was never a game. Riddle me this. What brings light, but also death? Fire! You started quite the fire, Mr. Grayson. You want to show people the light, but know this. Fire brings all the monsters out from the dark. Back there. What's the matter? Was it the singing? I feel like there's a lack of communication here. What have you done to me? Can't feel my legs, you piece of shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I crippled your legs. Not your manners. Some people never learn. I almost got out of jail. Who's there? I'm here to deliver a message. What message? God's message. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh. <laughs> Alberto told me where to find you. He even let me borrow his car. My brother, he would never rat us out. Oh, he took some convincing. He was a screamer. What do you want? I'm just trying to get the new guy's attention. He bugs little safe houses like these. I'm making noise in the hope that he'll hear me. Who? The bad man? Don't call him that. He is not Batman. Not yet. So what's the plan, clown? I'm gonna kill you, and then hope that he turns up. And then... Actually, I haven't thought that far ahead. That doesn't make sense. Oh, well, gotta start somewhere. Look around you. 
Look at the world around you. Does any of it really have to make sense? Whoops. Wrong gun. No harm, no foul. Let's say we uh, shake on it and go our separate ways. What the? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Me? <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> the toxin on the other hand. <laughs> that's gonna kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Still got some life in you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we can soon fix that. <laughs> Unprofessional. Sloppy. Maybe I'm not being direct enough. This is the GCPD. What's your emergency? Two people have just been murdered. The address is 22 Park Row. I'm back and I'm bored. Tell the new guy I'm coming for. See you later, boys. I told you, I wasn't to be disturbed. Sir, they followed us. They'll be here in a second. So, the room is a true. The bat is black. Wait, you're not the bat. <laughs> it's complicated. Where's your suit? Gonna be honest here, I right? just, uh... I just didn't have time to change. So, how did you find me? Your men are idiots. They made a lot of noise getting here. But this is where it stops. <laughs> you thought me? You're so scrawny. I won't even be able to hear the sound of your spine break. What I lack in size, I more than make up for with skill. You talk far too much, boy. Sorry, I'm battered. You know, I don't really get to do this in the OC. I'm actually enjoying myself. Sorry. God won't forgive you. I was talking to you. <laughs> Only had one of those, they were very expensive. <laughs> Now, I'm in a bad room. When you get to Blackgate, I want you to tell the scum that they're safer in their cells. I want you to tell them. You even listening? Okay, that's, that's, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing.
Hey. Grayson. We need you down at 22 Park Row. There's been some homicides. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm off duty. This is big. If I'm right, something bad is coming. I need you here. Okay, I'll be there. It's gonna be a long day. What do we got, Detective West? Two bodies here, and one in the boot of the car down the street. They're all a part of the mob. The guy in the boot was his younger brother, Alberto Falcone. This could just be a mop hit. Sounds like you already have this thing figured out. It's the phone call reporting the crime that's got me so worried. Why? It's better if you listen. Two people have just been murdered. The address is 22 Parker Road. I'm back and I'm bored. Tell the new guy I'm coming. Now I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that was the Joker. I know you like the crazy cases. I have to go. Where are you going? the Joker, Harley. Well, he kind of knows I kind of been here. That doesn't mean you don't know where he's hiding. The only reason you're back in here is because they found you half dead on the street. Mr. J just hasn't been himself recently. You know, since you kind of died, it's not my fault I couldn't make him smile. He left you for dead. He loves me! You won't find him until he wants you to. Harley, he doesn't love you! He doesn't know how la, to- la, 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 la. Okay. Bye! Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry that I scare you, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm sure you can appreciate the irony. How dare you come here, clown! Shh. I need a favor. This is my laboratory. This is the center where I study every form fear takes. No one leaves here without my one piece. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't come in with it in one piece. As a professional courtesy, I'm giving you one chance to leave, Joker. You're in my home. This is the house that fear itself was born in. <coughs> oh, do you ever take that thing off? Oh, it smells. I, I warned you. Dr. Crane, the only thing that scares me is living in a world without my Batman. And I find myself living in that world. And you can help me change that. What do you need? Enough of that sweet little fear toxin to drive a man completely insane. Anything else? Can you, uh, drop this off at the GCPD? doing. I know how he thinks. The Joker wants an audience. Harley Quinn was the only other person that would have known where he is. Now we just wait. No point in wasting time. God, you sound just like Bruce. 
don't have to pretend to be like him when you're not wearing the mask. Don't lose yourself. Alf, that's very dramatic. I know who I am. The joke has been gone for so long. I hope we'd never hear from him again, but somehow I knew he'd be back. He represents everything that's wrong with Gotham. He's never scared me, even back when I was Robin. He scares me. After all he put Bruce through, you never fought him by yourself. I just... Hey Grayson, we've got a lead on the Joker case. The maniac sent a video to the GCPD. It was addressed to the imposter. I'm going to send you it. You're the expert on these costume freaks. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay. I'm sorry I left earlier, Wally. Don't worry, it doesn't matter. You get the file? Yeah, we got it. Did you miss me? I've been trying to get your attention, but I suppose I just haven't been thinking big enough. Or maybe you're just having trouble finding me. Either way, I'm gonna put on a show for you so we can really get to know each other. And I can decide if you're worth the trouble. Think of it as a blind date. You'll need a ticket, of course. And here it is. Oh. Wait, how am I gonna get it to you? I can send it out in a batch of chocolate bars, but I think that's already been done. Ah, you'll work it out. I've already given you the zip code. See you soon! <laughs> yeah, the boys upstairs are thinking that the one behind him is where he's at. It's a zip code. They're on their way to the address now. So, you see anything we missed? No. Stay safe, Wally. What are you waiting for? Get to that address before the GCPD do. He'll slaughter them. Look at how clear that code is, Alfred. Nothing's ever that simple with the Joker. He's testing me. What? It's the number on the ticket. When he moves it across the screen, it obscures the number in the background, creating a new address. It's the address for the abandoned theater on West. Be careful. I hope you know what you've walked into. He's been trying to get my attention. All of these crime scenes were him. You're here. I underestimated you. I was so very lost when it took Batsy from me. I'd lost my BFF. Then you came along parading in his pajamas. At first, I was just gonna kill you, but that's no fun. Time to move on, right? I can't take any old bat trash, however. Fighting this place was just test one. Now, if you'll open that box, you'll find the location for test number two on that thing. Spoiler! It may involve a hostage situation. I'm going old school on you. A little cliche, I know, but I love the classics. He's hacking us. I'm turning off my comms. You forgot to scan for viruses. <laughs> now we can chat while you work. Go on then. Clock's ticking. The hostage is at the Botanical Gardens. That's only two blocks away.
Oh shit! Oh. It's okay. You're safe. quite impressed but you've only been winning on physical skill alone you can't just look like Batman you have to think like him I'm pushing you to your mental extreme. That was a very large dose of Scarecrow's fear toxins. You feel that? That's your body shutting down. That most of the toxins should kill you. But if your mind's strong enough, you'll wake up. And I'll have a new Batman to play with. Or you'll die. And then I'll be disappointed. But not as disappointed as you'll be. Cause you'll be dead! <laughs> Crime and injustice. Stole your childhood. Jim. But you're dead. I died, saving you. And you promised me that you would change Gotham without a mask. I tried. It wasn't working. My death. Just an old man, Dick Grayson, couldn't save. So many people have died for you. It will always end with death. What would happen to you if I died? Would you seek vengeance? Would you finally kill? You know I would kill to keep you safe. I'm sorry. I just can't. Jason? I was always so jealous of you! You were Robin, but then you left! And the Bruce found me! And I thought he had a father! And he didn't want me! He wanted you! Jason, I love you like a brother! I don't even know where you are! Don't fight the darkness. Let it consume you. Be the darkness. Be the fear. You don't know who you are. You don't know how I died. You're weak. You failed me. Bruce. He's Riddle me this. You let him die. <laughs> cold water. It's Batman. Cold water. You failed. I saved you when no one else would. Bye, Batsy. He's never oh. scared. Nothing's ever that simple with the Joker. <laughs> Time's up.
What is Dick Grayson's <laughs> biggest fear? <laughs> You know, I really thought you could do it. It's pretty clear you're not waking up. It's a shame, really. We could have had fun. You know, it was a stupid plan. I even used one of Scarecrow's gimmicks. It was a test of your mind. I knew it was stupid, but that's why it was funny. To be honest, I didn't know if I could build my own bed. But you've given me such a lovely starting point. In honesty, I was just desperate to have him back. But don't worry. I'll be joining you both shortly. There's no one left in the world to make me smile. See you in hell, Bats. It's completely insane. You failed me. <laughs> you let him die! I always wanted you to be Batman. What a disappointment. You never would have said that. You failed this city. You failed me. No. Not that. Bruce would have never wanted me to be Batman because he knew what that would take. And he never would have asked that of me. And he never had to. This was my choice. I decided to do this. I will bring Gotham out of the shadows. It's working. It's changing. There is no other way but pain and suffering. You must give yourself to it. You must be the monster of the night. No. I will not let those who have died change me into something I am not. I am Richard John Grayson, and I will never give myself to the darkness. I will never stop! It's you! It is you! No, clown. I'm not him, and I never will be. I'm not gonna strike fear from the shadows. I'm gonna bring Gotham into the light and show the new way about people like you. <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> I wanted things to go back to the way they were before. I guess I'm just a nostalgic person for this. <laughs> this is good. You're something new. I haven't quite figured out what yet, but I'm so excited to find out. Oh! I suppose I was in denial. Let's call this acceptance. This is a new age. A new Batman. A new Joker. Reborn! It's not like before, though. You're just a rebound. <laughs> Can't get up? Don't worry! You're just not strong enough! I'm gonna kill so many people while you're just hanging here. <laughs> wow, look at you. Back for more so soon. I've listened to you all night, clown, Babylon about how well you knew Batman. Well, you love to talk, so do I. I know you. You'd be nothing without Batman, and that scares you. It doesn't scare me. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> well, one of us has to be. You little shit! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You're scared the Gotham will forget you! Well, hate to break it through you, Cloud. You're all dudes! You're watched up, no one cares! Only reason I'm even here is because Two-Face was busy! <laughs> think you're talking to? I'm the Joker, the clown prince of crime. My body count is so high, the devil's still making room for the bodies. You're just some punk who thinks all you need is a mask. Get out here. Answer me! What makes you so special? Nothing. I can just count. You're out of bullets. You're done. Give the GCPD my location. No, I'm, I'm fine. It's under control. I'm gonna kill you. And... And... <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You made me lose control. Bats never would have tried a stunt like that. Maybe you're right. Gotham is changing. You could be a new symbol of hope. And I can't wait to take it away from them. <laughs> Stop it! You've let yourself go. I mean, you were pathetic before, but look at you now. <laughs> you need Batman. I don't need you. You're not Batman. I know I'm not. He's gone, and you're nothing without him, and that's pretty funny. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Stop it! Stop laughing! <laughs> Change. It affects everyone differently. Some embrace it and let it make them better, stronger. Some want change, but don't know how. They just need someone to show them. Nothing lasts forever. Some people will never change. Do you know what? I think, I think I like him. Gotham is changing. This is just the beginning. Cell next to you, Edward. It's me, little old Joker. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. If we're really good, they might let us have a slumber party. 
Oh, what a riot! Oh, do I have a story to tell you.